Hello and welcome to another video and where I'll show you how you can optimize your Agent 2 sound by placing an EQ or a drive pedal after it. In one of my last videos I showed you what will happen if you place an EQ pedal or a drive pedal in front of your HM2 and well I actually found out that an EQ pedal works surprisingly well. However this approach is not my favorite approach. I really like to place pedals after the HM2, especially drive pedals. So for today's video I thought well <laughs> let's try everything after the HM2. My signal chain is rather simple. It's my XTN Fangen guitar and this goes into the HM2 of my choice. For simplicity reasons I chose the Boss HM2 Wassercraft. And then we go into four different pedals. I chose two EQ-ish pedals and two drive pedals. For the EQ pedal I chose the Lichtlamp Amber Spyglass. It was in my last video where I put it in front of the HM2 as well. And then Kind of like a curveball, we go into the left hand ref ham beast. It's a studio grade preamp EQ pedal, so it does all kinds of stuff. From there, we go into the two distinguished drive pedals. And I chose the Digitech Hardwire CM2 and the Boss Super Overdrive SD1. And the SD1 was in the previous video as well. From there, we go into my PV VTM60. It's basically the standard set and forget it setting that I have and from there we go into the interface or well, rather into the load box into the interface would be not good. Uh, I chose my fractal audio load box in the UK setting and there into the interface and in the interface I've opened Nadir as an IR loader and I actually chose a new IR from a company called D Knight Audio. They do some awesome IRs that I really have to explore more. So future video is upcoming. I basically chose an IR that captures a vintage 30, an old vintage 30 speaker from a Mesa oversized cabinet with uh, two SM57s with the fragment technique. Well, and this is the sound without any pedal. <laughs> a bit on the dark side however that's not a problem if you ask me and well now I will activate the HM2 Wassercraft and I will run into some uh, noise issues here because I have to figure out all the grounding and I, I run into some loop however I will dial in a sound well basically I already have and then I will tweak the amber spyglass as an EQ to see what I can achieve with the HM2 Wassercraft. So the really dark sound, I can uh, really tweak with the Amber Spyglass, I can reduce some bass and it works surprisingly well. 
And now let's do the same but with the ham beast. <laughs> Well, the Hambist is not made for this sound. I would actually use the 6 m EQ instead, but it's currently uh, unavailable here. Um, so, <laughs> Hambeast doesn't work here. However, I will I will do a future video with the Hambeast. I still have to do to, uh, have to try it in front of a real tube amp. Uh, but for this video, mm, nope. So, EQ after the Atom 2 kind of works. I prefer it in front, actually. Now let's try out the different drives. And I will uh, start with the ST1 because I know it really well. And then I will directly switch over to the Digitech. <laughs> I preferred the Digitech because I basically had more options. With the Boss uh, Super Overdrive it sounded way crunchier and uh, way more aggressive. I really like this. And with the Digitech I could also dial back some of those lows and crank the highs. So with the 2-band EQ it gave me more options, which by itself is an EQ as well. And as you can see I have actually turned the drive way down. Uh, you really have to be careful with the HM2. I could technically zero the HM2's own gain and then crank up a bit of the Digitech. This might give me a tighter sound and I will do this now and then I will additionally add the Ambus Spyglass and shape the tone even more when I go out of the HM2 but into the Digitech. This will be fun. Thank you. 
Okay, this was my try to alter, optimize the sound of an HM2 by placing EQ pedals or drive pedals after it. And well, my verdict is that I still highly prefer drive pedals after the HM2. I even dial the gain back and dial in some gain with the overdrive pedals. Technically, you could also increase the gain on your amp and well, but, but you don't have the same effect because with the uh, overdrive pedal you also get rid of some low end that you can dial back and um, it's everything, everything is connected and you can't substitute the one with the other this easily at least. So, drive pedal very good idea to put after the HM2. EQ pedal, I'm not sure. What do you think? Do you prefer EQ pedal and slash or drive pedals after the HM2? Do you prefer it before? Just leave a comment down below in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member or you want to check out the links in the description below. Maybe both. Well, with that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.